analysis. Dan Geltrude is an accounting professor at Montclair State University in New Jersey. Dan, welcome. Talk to us about this jobs report. What do you make of it? Well, good news and bad news here. One would think, hey, this is all good news. Crushed expectations. More people out there taking jobs. Hey, great. But let's not forget what's going on with the Federal Reserve. This indicates that the economy is still humming along, which is not great related to inflation right now. So what this tells me is, is the Fed will likely continue to increase interest rates in order to basically kill the economy. So that's what's not good about this jobs report. Yeah, again, that's another concern where the Fed goes from here. Um, also, the strikes we've seen across the board, the nation's largest strike that we've seen in healthcare, care uh, with Kaiser Permanente and associated unions. I mean, that's 75,000 workers walking off the job there. UAW hasn't solved their problem yet with their strike. Uh, and there's a few others out there as well. How long will this last? And could there be others joining in on the picket lines? Well, it seems like this is the season of strikes right now. And why is that? Well, perhaps partially because our, our president has been out there supporting all of these striking workers. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but here's what comes out of this. People are striking because they want more wages and they want more benefits. Who's going to pay for that? Ultimately, the consumer. See, there's this misnomer that if you're going to pay workers more, that the companies, the employers, are just going to take the hit. That's not the case. They're going to pass those um, increases along to us. So we all pay for this. So we have to keep in mind that there's a scale that has to stay in balance, and that's often overlooked with the empathy that people have for striking workers. Sure. I mean, you think we all realize that everything seems to cost so much more money. Now folks are wanting to be paid more money just to be able to afford cost of cost of living these days. Wanted to ask you, Dan, about Tesla. Wanted to dive into the future of EVs. Perhaps this could give us some insight. Tesla cutting its models three, model Y prices in the U.S. after car deliveries fall. CNBC reporting that Tesla blames some factory upgrades, which might have caused the manu manufacturing sites to have some downtime here. Can you talk to us about what's really going on with Tesla? Well, I'm not so sure I agree with that story. What I think here is it's simply supply and demand. They have a, quite a bit of supply, and the demand is not there. Why? Because it's just too highly priced. So Elon Musk, a highly adapted individual, is going to say, all right, we need to make an adjustment here. In order to create demand, we got to bring down the price and make these ve vehicles more desirable and more affordable. It's simple. They're slowing demand in the two biggest markets for EVs, for Tesla, and that's in the U.S. and China. Has to figure out how to reverse that. And there's also a lot more competition in the EV market these days. So I think Tesla here is simply trying to move with the times. Dan Geltrude joining us on a Friday. Dan, good to see you again. Thank you for that. Thank you. You got it. Well, the World Aquatics.